Hello and good morning. My name is Cody, also known as Just Two Ads. And look, it's my face again. I know it's it's been a while. I've been working on things. And welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, this is a game that I've just seen recently, though it's been out for like about a month or two. Um, this is a game that I saw Jesse Cox playing. I heard that the game it's crazy, but I didn't watch too much because I didn't want to spoil it for myself. Um. And this game is going to be kind of a replacer for the time being, a replacer for Dr. Decker's, um, the, the, the infectious madness of Dr. Decker. I'm having issues, so I'm not going to be playing that at least until I can like work some things out and get a better uh, PC to play it on. So we're going to see how well this is going to go. Um, clearly this game is fucked up because I just started it and it's the first thing that popped up. Um, this game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Individuals suffer, suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warnings, please visit that. So, this game is going to get weird and fast. By playing Doki Doki Literature, Literature Club, you agree that you are at least 13 years of age and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. I like that. I like, I mean, that the game is fucked up, that something really fucked up is going to happen, most likely suicide. Um, but I like that the game is like letting you know that it's not just throwing you into the deep end and it's like, fuck it, you know, it's not a surprise out of nowhere. Yeah, I agree. Color comes to the screen. This game is not suitable for children, okay. Okay. Uh, settings. Let's mess around with some stuff. Text speed. Increase that a little bit. Skip unseen text after choices. No. I'll stick with that. Okay, I'm in window mode, as you can see. Help. This file has been open in your browser. Oh no, it's one of those games. Okay. Okay, that's nice. I got a feeling this is gonna be a game where it's gonna set up things in like my web browser and stuff. Okay, uh, load. Yeah, this, that, Jesus Christ, you have a lot of fucking saves. New game, please enter your name. That's, yeah, the Cody man. There we go, hold up. There we go. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. See, this girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. Oh shit, I could just do all the things here. Okay. So this is just a click. There's no reason for me to have like the keyboard. So we're just gonna click. You know the kind of friend you never see making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long? We used to walk to school together on the, on days like this, but starting around high school, she overslept more and more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I feel almost yeah, I, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up with me. Hey, hey! Ah, I overslept again. You look like it, but I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Uh, you say you say that like, sorry, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. I was. That's mean, the Cody man. Oh, I'm gonna love this. Uh, well, well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Damn, I'm cold. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. Hey, hey. We cross the street together and make our way to school. 
As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commutes. By the way, Cody, I'm just gonna call myself Cody, not the Cody man every time, maybe. Uh, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I have been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. <laughs> did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going uh, going on about. Sounds just like me. Sayori, Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting on by average. Well, yeah, by the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. So with high school students. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I died the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I look at a few clubs I look at a few clubs if it means to make you if it means makes you happy. If it makes you happy, make coming up with words myself. If I ad lib or free form, excuse me, this is gonna be a lot of reading. So I'm gonna go at it at my own pace, how I feel. No promises though. Will you at least promise you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. All girls do, bro. All girls do. The school day is in ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things and stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Zora wants me to check out some club. Some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here spaced out, spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me, as if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might uh, need some encouragement, so I thought, oh, so I thought, you know, Oh, I, you do know me, actually. You know what? Well, that you come to my club. Sorry. Yeah. There's no way I'm going to your club. <laughs> eh, meanie. Sorry is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because uh, she thought the she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show up, show interest after after the one who proposed the club she inherited the title vice president that said my entrance in literature is guaranteed to be even less yeah i'm going to the anime club come on please why do you care so much anyway well i kind of told the club yesterday i would bring a new member and natsuki, natsuki uh made cupcakes and everything <laughs> don't make promises you can't keep I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's cunning or if she's so cunning as to have planned it all out. I let out a long sigh. Fine. I stopped by for a cupcake, okay? Let's go! I'm so nice. I'm gonna have to plug my camera in soon because the battery's already dying. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Just like this is Cody, this is Cody, folks, to the T. I dejectedly, I dejectedly followed Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of school I rarely visit, being generally used uh, for third year classes and activities. Sayori, so, full of energy, swings the door open, uh, swings the door classroom open. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Uh, I glance around the room. Hey, welcome to Literature Clubs. Pleasure meeting you. Pleasure meeting you too, girl one. Siri always uh, says nice things about you, does she? Seriously, you bought a boy? Hey, girl two. Way to kill the atmosphere. Hey, girl three, hey, ah, the Cody man. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Cool. All words escape me in this situation. Oh, I think I'm gonna like this game. This club. 
is full of incredibly cute girls. This is so cold. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Ooh, I like her. This is sorry. Natsuki. Huh. Okay, that's Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, uh, is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. Uh, you can yeah, you can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says quite. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back to the other girls. Oh, okay, she whispered to me. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy, and this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Yuri, mm, I think I'm like Yuri. Don't say things like that. Yuri, yeah, Yuri, who appears to be comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet the both of you. Who's the third chick? And it sounds like you already know uh, Monica. Ma Monica? Yeah, Monica. Is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, the coded man. We know each other. Uh, Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we are in the same uh, class last year. Okay. Monica is probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. Yeah, I like her. She's cool. Oops. Wrong button. Matter of fact, let's let's save. It's, okay, it's just that simple. All right. Uh, basically, completely out of my league. So having a uh, so having a smile at me so genuinely feels a little. You too, Monica. Monica, I need to stop calling her Monica. It's Monica. Uh, come sit down, the coding man. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to Monica, me or Monica. I get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I get them, bitch. I like Natsuki. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? You make tea? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sawyer mentioned, it's been wide and so there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuka and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feel still feeling awkward, I take a sit I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuka probably marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Oh! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate where the, uh, were used to make ears. That's adorable. So cute! I had no idea they were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious. Sayori talks with a mouthful and has already managed to get icy on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. What kind of douche am I? <laughs> Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaky glances in my direction. She's waiting for me to take a bite. I find the bite down. The icing is sweet, full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. What? Why are you thanking me? It's not like I haven't heard this somewhere before. Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Ugh. I thought you technically did. Sayori said, well, maybe, but not for you, you know, you dummy. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? It is a little weird. Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, don't hot cups, uh, uh, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. My character doesn't read, does he? Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. That's not true. Yes, it is. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, okay, that's fucking adorable. I love, like, all of this right here. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yeah, I enjoy tea when I'm playing video games. As such. Yuri, uh, Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Uh, I was afraid of this question. 
<laughs> Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Siori for cupcakes. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Siori seems really happy here, so that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make uh, we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Should I give these girls voices? Let me know. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Aha, uh -huh. well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget, and publicity, and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something per take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. That's the way to do it. And if I encourage others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yes, she is. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are interested in putting uh, out all effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. Is this like a life lesson game that I'm getting? Okay, you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festivals that much more important. I'm confident that we, uh, all, that we all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must, uh, Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with that level of enthusiasm about literature. So, the Cody Man, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, Doctor Who? Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I'm gonna understand. I'm gonna quiet it to myself. Oh, manga. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but keeps quiet. You got manga in the classroom, don't you? Isn't like back there? Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing your sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of a teacup with a finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep, complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign way is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid uh, since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious uh, the way her eyes light up that she finds comfort in the world of books not people i know i actually know girls like this but you know i like a lot of things stories with deep psychological elements usually emits usually immerse me as well isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop that a hint at this game anyway i've been reading a lot of horror lately Ah, I read horror i read a horror book once i desperately grasp at something i can relate to uh, at level at this rate, Yuri might as well have a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For some reason as gentle as you, for someone as gentle as you. It's a lot of fucking reading. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Okay. I'm really getting that vibe that she's trying to tell me something. I've watched a lot of things. This is getting kind of meta. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, that's it. Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over for me for a split second. Well, because you're a pussy. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind uh, last club meeting. Uh, it looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud and Give That Back. Fine, fine. Uh, your cupcakes, your poems, everything about you is, is just as cute as you are. Sarah saddles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. Oh, I'm not cute. Natsuki, you write your own poems. 
Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No, not skill versus eyes. You wouldn't like them. Oh, not a very confident writer, are you? Not a very confident writer yet. I don't I don't understand how Natsuki feels. I understand how Natsuki feels. Uh, sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Dude, <laughs> do you have writing experience to Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Okay, how new is this club to say that you don't know two of your three members uh, have like background in writing? All I'm saying. Wait, do I have to click on the thing or can I click anywhere? Because I don't want to like accidentally click one of these again. <sighs> I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Good news, everyone! Question mark. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then the next time we meet, we'll all share with them. We'll all share them with each other. Oh, this is. Oh, do I have to write a poem? That's that way. Everyone is even. Um. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, the Cody man? Uh, Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Uh, what's that? Now that we're back together, now that we're back on the original topic of me joining the club, I'll bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind this entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sora may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with their dejected eyes. Oh God, I can't do, uh. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought, huh. The Cody man. <laughs> you, you all, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if I'm writing poems, is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. But, but okay. This character, I love this character, my character, because he is very much, these girls are hot, I'm in. Period. That's his motivation for this. I love it. Okay, I decided then. I joined the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. Sora wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem, yeah, write a poem. Bring it to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. The Cody man, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Hehe. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety, the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, the Cody man. Since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sarah and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! Sorry, got getting caught up in music. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way in my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Man, my, he is just, I need to fuck. All right, I just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. <laughs> and I guess that starts with me writing a poem tonight. Man, who should I go with though? That's the question. 
It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member would like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem most. Okay, is there like hints or something that I can... Um, let's save. I mean, shit, we got more than enough save slots. Okay, uh, from what I gathered about these girls, um, Seori is all about food and fun times. Natsuki is about cute things, at least from what I picked up. And she has like a hard demeanor to block it. And Yuri seems to be the smart one. So now who am I going to pick? You know, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to cut Sayori out. You, Because, you know, she's my best friend and blah, 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 blah. I know you know she's fucking adorable and I take out of town. But I'm going to cut her out. Natsuki... Uh, my character seemed a little dismissive towards her because she was so young. So I think I'm gonna go with Yuri. So what What will Yuri, nightgown? No, you like that. Uh, intellectual. Incongruent? Okay, okay, so big words for her. I'm pretty sure a flying would be like one of these two. A tone, heaven sense. Melancholy, big words, okay. Uh, Determination, judgment, existence, <laughs> contamination. Okay. Um, climax, disarray. Okay, so I'm just knocking this out of the park. Um, boop. <laughs> oh, God. No tragedy. Oh, tragedy? Okay. Um, forgive. All right. Uh, giggle vacation melody. No, it's you. Chocolate. I don't care who it is. I'm always picking chocolate. Uncontrollable massacre. Hey, name of the game. Doki Doki. Gotta pick it. Tenacious. Um, philosophy. Yeah, for you. Unrestrained. There we go. Uh, oh, okay. It's 20 out of 20. I was like, how many fucking words did I pick? Um, secretive. Okay. And it's the next day already. Hey, game the code man. Okay. Um, I'm going to cut it here. I did save before the poem. Oh, God. I saved right before. No, I'm going to save now. There we go. I like that you can save like any time. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Cut the episode here. I'm not going to. Uh, cut these up yet. I mean, I'm going to edit them. But I'm not going to like cut them up uh, So this one is what around 20 some odd 28 almost 30 minutes I'm, I think I'll try to keep running or at least do it like a day at a time That's what it seems like like I do my school day do the club talk with the girls go home write a poem and then come back just to to the club apparently Okay, that'd be that if you like what I'm doing want to see what else I'm doing Let me know what you think because I'm always interested to know so yeah.